You might be wondering, is it still worth learning C programming for embedded software engineering today? Well, let's find out. My name is Grady Eilig, I'm an embedded software engineer, and before we get started with this juicy content, make sure to smash that like button, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, and first, let's do a quick recap of C itself. It was developed a while back, probably sometime before the dinosaurs came to existence. It is widely used for operating systems and application software for various computer architectures that range from supercomputers all the way to embedded systems. It's estimated that over 70% of the industry uses C for embedded software programming. Also, a lot of programming languages are actually built off the base of the C programming language, such as Python, C++, and Java. Well, let's start with the pros first. Since C has been around for so long, it has actually served as the foundation for many programming languages, just as I mentioned. Because of that, it has also served as the foundation of the syntax for other programming languages. It might be easier for you to read those languages or actually learn those languages because you already know something about C programming. It's a middle-level programming language that supports both high and low level programming. Thus, it can closely work with the registers of the CPU to write some drivers or actually write some applications on the higher level. It's also a flexible language that can run on different compilers and on most hardware, meaning you could write code on your Windows computer and then go on a Mac OS and just still run that code without any issues. Also, most microcontrollers support C as a programming language to program them. Dynamic memory allocation, meaning you can allocate memory during runtime in C. For example, you can use calls for memory allocation to change the size of an array while the code is running. Although in embedded environments, you do want to be careful with doing that just because you have limited amount of memory, so you want to keep that constraint in mind. Last pro is it can implement algorithms and data structures fast. Being able to perform and calculate complex algorithms fast is pretty important for embedded development. Well, those are the pros of learning C for embedded software engineering. Now let's move on to the cons. The biggest con is that if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider doing it now. Seriously, subscribe right now. C has no object-oriented programming concepts like abstraction, data hiding, encapsulation, and polymorphism. C itself just follows procedural programming approach, and that's all it does. C does not implement the concept of namespaces, which means that you can only have one variable named the same way. You can have multiple variables globally defined with the same name, or even functions. You can have functions globally with the same name, which makes it kind of annoying sometimes when you write C code. Getting out of the C programming mindset when learning C as your first language can be challenging. When you transition over to C++, for example, it is very common to just be stuck with the mindset that, you know, I would just keep doing stuff like C in C++ and not utilizing all the cool stuff that C++ offers. I think it's important to embrace those things in C++ rather than just hide from them. And I found myself doing that when I started writing C++ code when transitioning over from C. You don't wanna get stuck in just the C mindset. You wanna be able to learn and adapt to multiple languages. C is designed with the thought that the programmer knows what they're doing and that they're doing it intentionally. There are a lot of times that I found myself very frustrated with C programming, especially in the beginning. You might be facing some difficult situations with memory leaks, buffer overruns, or segmentation faults. Dun, dun, dun. To conclude, is C still worth learning today for embedded software engineering? Well, it depends, and it depends on you. It depends on your goals. It depends what you want to get out of it. In general, I think it's a great language to learn for embedded software, with the exception of the object-oriented concepts missing. So if you are a beginner just getting into it, I would recommend it. But don't stop there. Learn more about C++, Python, C hashtag. Other than that, I'm out of here. Bye.